This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Now, it's not often you get a gift for yourself in the holidays, is it? So, how does a free 22 karat American Gold Eagle coin sound? Not bad, huh? A free 22 karat American Gold Eagle coin in a special presentation box. But it's not that simple. To qualify, you have to take out a precious metals IRA or 401k rollover with Noble Gold. So call 877-646 five three four seven and get this special coin offer but don't hang around that's eight seven seven six four six five three four seven hey everyone just wanted to quickly do a video i'm doing a, a car wash right now so i thought it'd be a good time to rant about something that has really bothered me this morning uh, i tweeted about it earlier so i get up this morning and i see brian stelter uh has tweeted out a clip from his show with daniel dale cnn's supposed fact checker and uh, he, they're already putting out rationalizations to explain why they're gonna seem like they're Joe Biden regime propaganda. And uh, we're already seeing that. And so he tweets out this video saying, oh, uh, it, it's not gonna be that we're not fact-checking Joe Biden. It's just that uh, Joe Biden doesn't lie. He doesn't lie. Trump's a big liar, so that's why we're always fact-checking. Tr Biden's not a liar. The trend right now is toward asymmetric line one side line a lot more than the other. Now, if it flips, you know, if Biden turns out to be the uh, biggest Pinocchio out there, then you'll be back on this program pretty soon telling us. It'd be, be easier if, if Biden was an equal liar uh, to Trump for me, because then I could go and, and, and sort of showily demonstrate, look, you know, I'm, I'm independent. I'm treating them the exact same way. The fact <laughs> is, though, that Biden, Biden is not the same. And so the coverage of Biden is going to be equally rigorous, but the final product when we cover mm -hmm. Biden is not going to be the same. All right, rub my nose in it, why don't you? Um, and so that's why we're not going to be fact-checking him. So it's not because we're in the tank for Joe Biden. Well, uh, if you go to Daniel Dale's Twitter, you're going to find a similar tweet where he's defensive and saying, oh, no, 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 I'm not pivoting, I'm not pivoting. It's just that Trump was such a prolific liar, and, and Joe Biden's not known for that. Uh, Joe Biden's, uh, you know, straight Joe or whatever. Well... You know, Brian Stelter often talks about how Fox News uh, and the right-wing media echo chamber um, create these alternate realities. Well, this is an alternate reality where Joe Biden's not a liar. Why does Joe Biden make so much stuff up? And will it hurt him against Trump in the general election? I have the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. Except it's a lie. Biden himself was forced to fess up on CNN. When I said arrested, I meant I was not able to, I was not able to move. Cops, upper counters would not let me go with them, made me stay where I was. I guess I, I wasn't arrested, I was stopped. This guy climbed down a ravine, carried this guy up on his back under fire. And the general wanted me to pin the silver star on him. I got up there and stand, this is God's truth, my word is a Biden. He stood his attention. I went to pin him, I said, sir, I don't want the damn thing. Do not pin it on me, sir, please, sir, do not do that. He died, he died. He didn't pin the medal on the guy who wasn't a Navy captain. He just made it up. And Biden has told this story time and again over the years. I made a mistake. I said it 14 years ago. I trusted George Bush to keep his word. He said he was not going to go into Iraq. Except Biden was calling for war with Saddam Hussein in 1998. The only way we're going to get rid of Saddam Hussein. And it's going to require guys like you in uniform to be back on foot in the desert taking, the son of a, the, uh, taking Saddam down. From the moment shock and awe started, from that moment, I was opposed to the effort and I was outspoken. A complete fabrication. Some of my own party have said that it was a mistake to go to Iraq in the first place. But the cost of not acting against Saddam, I think, would have been much greater. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I marched with tens of thousands of others to change attitudes. And we changed attitudes. It's when I was about the age of the guy standing over there, I got involved in the civil rights movement. He knows it's untrue. Don't take my word for it. Take his. I was not an activist. I was not out marching. I was not down in Selma. I was not anywhere else. It would almost be, be easier if, if Biden was an equal liar uh, to Trump for me, because then I could go and, and, and sort of showily demonstrate, look, you know, I'm, I'm independent. I'm treating them the exact same way. 
I think what bothers me most about this tweet from Brian Stelter and the tweets from Daniel Dale is that it's just such flagrant ga gaslighting and lying to the American people. And I know that just more of that is coming. I mean, we've dealt with it for the last four years, but folks, it, it's going to be even worse than the Obama years. It's going to be even worse than them ignoring all these things that they call scandals now. They ignored them back then and then call it a scandal-free administration, and then suddenly these things become scandals under a, a Republican administration. So you can guarantee this that's all any of this is. All they're doing is setting up the justification for the fact that all these fact checks are going to go away. There, there may still be fact checks, but there'll be fact checks of Republicans, uh, and it'll be fact checks of criticism against Democrats. There'll be fact checks in service of promoting and pushing a Democrat Party agenda. And it just bothers me that they think they can get away with it. It's just, in this latest uh, tweet from Brian and uh, and Daniel, it's just so in your face gaslighting. Like, oh, they, like nobody knows that Biden, Joe Biden is known for being a liar. But it's like that, um, the video that I put out yesterday from The View and Meghan McCain suddenly saying, oh, Joe Biden, he's a national treasure. Americans love Joe Biden. Since when? I mean, where were these massive... Uh, 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 shows of love for Joe Biden in the run-up to this election. The way I remember is everybody hated Joe Biden and he had no chance. And I mean, uh, Kamala Harris called him a racist. And then suddenly they have nobody else that has any possibility. So he becomes the guy. And suddenly we're just supposed to forget all that. You're supposed to forget that he plagiarized, you know, JFK speeches and other speeches and, and forget that he lied about being at the head of his class. The fact is he had to drop out of the race because he's a liar. Brian Stelter and Daniel Dale literally are just pretending like that never happened. They've created an alternate offshoot reality where that never happened. And now don't, don't worry when you're not seeing fact checks of Joe Biden because it's just that he doesn't lie, everybody. Of course, like I said, back in the day before Trump, it was just commonly accepted that when a politician's mouth moves, they're lying. But no, 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 no. Now that's, no, Democrats always tell the truth. They're always perfect. The bad people are their opposition. It's the people that criticize us here at CNN. It's the people that stand in opposition to all the free programs and all the free stuff the Democrats want to give you. So that's where we're at, folks. That's what is really what uh, impassions me and, and keeps me going to do this. Because I don't understand why the public can't see the harm in what they're doing. It's very harmful to this country. It's very harmful to people's trust in our institutions, which they claim is their highest, uh, is the thing that they care about most. And yet they are the ones destroying any trust in these institutions. This is a great example of it. And, you know, where's the Twitter fact check? Where's the Twitter fact check to say, well, Biden is a liar and here's, this is a, a disputed claim. Where, where's that? It's not, it's nowhere to be seen. Because fact checks aren't actually fact checks. These people don't actually care about the truth. They care about their own power and their own politicians getting that power. <laughs>